You talk about that leadership role. He was very outspoken in his support of the manager, Greg Berhalter. Now, I don't want to say he's on an island in that, but there are a lot of fans that maybe disagree. So let's hear what some of the fans are saying oh. about Greg Berhalter. Uh, this is from the Bolivia match. Sticking with Greg Berhalter straight till 2026. It's iffy right now. I kind of want to see how, how we do in the Copa first before we decide whether to move forward with him or not. Greg Berhalter, are you sticking with him straight until the World Cup in 2026 or are you waiting to see what happens in the Copa? They don't do well. Like, if they don't get it to at least the semifinal, you know, you got you to gotta, you gotta get rid of him because you got to go by results, right? Greg Berhalter, give me your thoughts. Yeah, I'd like to stick with him until 2026. I'm just not sure what out there is much better. Thoughts on Greg Berhalter? Are you willing to ride with him until 2026? Um, probably doesn't have the tactical now that other top coaches do. I think at this point, what's exciting is that we have the talent. I just don't necessarily know if Berhalter will have us play more than the sum of our parts. We have the talent to, like excel in CONCACAF and beat Mexico, but in a tournament like this against the likes of Colombia and Brazil, I don't know if he's, if he's going to be that guy for 2026. What do you think is hotter, the fans in Texas or Greg Berhalter's seat, huh? <laughs> Holy mackerel. A hot day down there as the U.S. were playing against Bolivia. What do you think it'll take to get the fans that aren't on Greg Berhalter's side off his back? Winning winning against quality opponents and it's very easy to say a, a semifinal in the Copa America but there's so much more that goes into it than just saying well they can get to a semifinal based on the talent pool based on this being the best generation of Americans ever look at the group that Mexico has for example if they go in first place in that group you potentially play a Canada a Canada Peru, Chile Peru, yeah. Chile accessible one game Mexico, one right. game win and you're in a semifinal hell of a lot easier than playing Colombia mm -hmm. Brazil to get to a semifinal. But if they do in make the Uruguay, semifinal, given it's Brazil or Colombia, then the fans have nothing else to say, That would right? be a He's, signature win. He's but got it. the signature win is something that's eluded Greg Berhalter because Greg Berhalter with this great generation of players has not done anything that Bruce Arena hasn't done, that Bob Bradley hasn't done, that Jurgen Klinsmann haven't done. These managers who have had lesser player pools have won signature games in the World Cup against Portugal in 2002, beating Mexico with Adosa Cero to reach the quarterfinal game. Bob Bradley, the 35-game unbeaten streak that Spain had, that same Spain that won two European championships in a World Cup, ending, ending that run in the Confederations Cup to go to the final. Uh, Jurgen Klinsmann winning in Azteca, beating countless teams in Europe. Greg Berhalter in this generation, they're still searching for that first signature win. When your manager's under fire, how does it impact kind of the feeling in the dressing room for a team? Well, I feel like it's, it depends on if they're projecting that pressure onto, this, onto the squad. Um, I think that you just want to go out there and perform well. Uh, if you get the opportunity, you're, you're there not only for yourself, but for your teammates, really. And then you just try to apply the principles and what the coach is asked, you know, asking of you with the roles and responsibilities. And you want to win. Ultimately, we're all there. We work our entire lives to be in that position to win. And whoever's setting us up for success Yes, you're just out there. This is the personnel that you have. You have to figure it out. This is what I'm giving you. And now it's your time to show that magic. So hopefully they're not projecting that pressure onto the squad. If they do, that's a different story. Then you can kind of tell uh, with the style of play, um, with how players look. And if they look unhappy, they're not having fun, and they're not you know, joyful, um, you can see that in the play. So as long as a coach isn't projecting that pressure onto the squad, I think um, ultimately it's the player's you know, opportunity to roll their sleeves up and, and perform. What's Berhalter asking, Ale, of this U.S. team in this game against Panada to keep the progression going after the opener against Bolivia? Dominate the game. Dominate possession. Take the possession into the attacking half, and then... Once you create the opportunities, the few opportunities that you do create, you have to put away. Uh, I'll just say this quickly about Greg Berhalter. I hate to break it to you all, but he's not going anywhere. The end of the cycle was the last World Cup, and they decided to stick with him. Yeah. And if you make that decision, that's for the long term. And so if indeed the United States get out of this group and they end up losing to Brazil or Colombia, that's not a reason to, uh, to dismiss Greg Berhalter because it, it, it would go again into the same discussion. The United States will do just enough, and Greg Berhalter will do just enough mm. to get you by, and then you'll go to the World Cup with the same setup and win the same coach. If you wanted to change a manager, and I'm only saying you because this really doesn't apply to me, I'm, I'm not American, um, uh, you, you had to have done that 
when the cycle came to a natural end. Mm -hmm. You didn't. Now you live with what you got. And they had the chance to do it. His contract was Absolutely. up. Absolutely. It, it took months. It was more, a natural end. They did a thorough search. It was yeah. more difficult to with get different people job than to let him go. Yeah. So you're, and they you're ended right. up with the same guy. That's Great right. Halter.